What's up guys, welcome to the adclasses.com. Today I am going to do some review for Galaxy Tab A uh, with the S Pen. So I got this a couple weeks ago on Amazon because uh, I want something that I could draw on when I'm like watching TV and stuff. And also I got a bamboo stylus, so basically it's this one here. Um, so the reason I got the bamboo stylus is because can you see that? Oh, move it wrong way. Um, the Samsung tablet. It's pretty cool, like about ten something inch, almost eleven. Um, come with the S Pen, but then I can't like really hold it, so I have to get the bigger pen, which is which is good, like the stylus. So it just came out like last November or something, right? Um, and I'll get this thing here that you can slip on so it will cover it. Um, so far, I like it, and usually I will use the Sketchbook Pro. Oh, turn on here. Oh, and uh, Adobe Sketch, I think. How do I turn it on? There we go. Now it's on. Um, and this is my old iPad right here. So, um, it's pretty good in comparison to the iPad for the tablet and I'll show you a little bit after this video uh, my first test so I had it a couple of weeks and I've been doing like maybe three to four drawing on it and the last one turned out okay um, so it's not gonna be as good as Wacom tablet obviously um, but it's about as good as uh, iPad Pro um, yeah and because it got like a sensitivity pretty good but all the all these tablet like iPad or uh, Samsung tab um, the Galaxy Tab A is probably the best of all the tab for drawing because uh, I've been doing a lot of research and I always wanted the one that can sit on the couch and just um, playing with it and painting something right so um, I have a Sketchbook Pro and let's see here gallery here's a uh, on the Sketchbook Pro, let's zoom in right there, right. So it's not bad, um, and I'll probably upload this too after a while. But uh, for now, it's just gonna be a simple drawing. So um, most of the iPad, I was gonna say, it's not like Wacom tablet that it doesn't have the pressure, so it doesn't rely on pressure sensitivity. Uh, instead, it rely on the accelerometer, which is if you like do pretty fast then the line will get tapered you know from thick to thin but it doesn't really um, have the pressure sensitivity like if you press hard um, it doesn't so I don't really know how it works but it kind of um, you can have thicker pain and thinner pain by just I think it kind of feel uh, how much um, <coughs> surface that kind of going in instead of the pressure um, so basically all right um yep so after this i'm just going to show you a basic drawing and it's a pretty good pad it's like half the price of the ipad pro and i'll probably get the ipad pro later this year i don't usually do review but i think this it's worth getting and because a lot some of my students use like um, procreate sketchbook pro um, i'm trying to get used to the program sketchbook pro on this pad is basically the same I'll explain it in the video when I'm drawing some little kitty or something and all right uh, let's start the drawing and if you want to take some classes just go to theartclasses.com then you can take uh, there's a digital 101 digital painting and character design um, usually those are two main class and you can also take a mentorship all right guys well so yeah, here is the one that my first drawing on the Samsung tablet. It's not bad. Um, the line uh, accuracy is pretty dead on, um, but it, in the beginning, it's kind of hard to get used to trying to get a gradient on here. So a lot of time you have to be super uh, precise when you try to pick the value. This is about my fourth, um, take about 30 minutes. This one probably 10 20 i'm not sure 15 to 20 minutes because i use the underlining it takes is kind of <laughs> trying to draw on the tablet 
um, it's not like Wacom. It's a bit more difficult to get whatever you want. And plus, I think it's um, the accuracy, like the thickness of the glass has something to do with the accuracy also. Like it's always a little bit kind of not on the either light or left or right of the glass. So this is uh, if you look at the side of the glass, right? If you angle the pen, then uh, obviously it's going to angle a little bit off. So, um, but it's not a super big deal. Um, it's Wacom is like super thin and Wacom is um, kind of, well, that's the best. And the price range is way, way, way up there, right? Uh, iPad Pro is like, what, 700 bucks? Um, so it's not bad. And usually if I'm going to buy like the Samsung, this uh, Tab A is about 10 inches. If you're gonna buy a tablet that you're gonna draw on, buy the big one, don't buy the small one. Uh, because at least buy it like at least 10 inches. Um, if it's lower than 10 inches, it just like might as well do it on a cell phone or something or your smartphone. So it's not big enough to draw on, uh, if, especially if you wanna paint, that's uh, kind of important too. So I will, uh, I just got this video in, so I will do the voiceover and uh, show you how I did this little cat. Uh, usually when I try something new, either a bunny or a cat would be a good way to go. Uh, and then later on, I'll try like, you know, step up from it, like doing some uh, value uh, study or some kind of value uh, transition from line to value. And then after I get used to it for a while, then I'm going to show you guys like how I would paint on that thing. Because um, when you change the tool or when you're switching the tool, then it's the environment is going to be different it's kind of like when you're changing from even from pencil to charcoal like the the feel of the tip of the pen is different because charcoal is a little uh, you have a little more friction and on the graphite it's a lot smoother and here is a sub zero it will be on my patreon uh, this month which will be released at the end of april and this one i'm still working on from my twitch uh, i usually go live on twitch from monday to thursday you can stop by there uh, the links are all under the video and, and um, all the information are usually under the video. All right, let's get started on the kitty. All right, so this is basically a test for a Samsung Tablet A, uh, 10 inches point something. I forgot 10.3 or something. And I have a bamboo, um, walk on bamboo that go with the Samsung tablet so it's pretty good um, and so the screen is kind of smaller that's why you see the black gap um, over on the side here and I would pop I will probably do more of this uh, tablet drawing as a tutorial and I use a app called the recorder or something it's free so well and this is a sketchbook pro all right so let's get started oh um let me go over the interface real quick because the cat run is only 10 minutes. So I use this basic uh, pencil, right? And then um, when you click on those brushes, you have all these options uh, of, of whatever brush you can select. And the second one, I select the pen uh, or the point tip pen, the third one right there. And then I drag it down there, right? And then um, I use these two a lot because it's got more consistent line and it can get more precision. And the third one is kind of like a flat marker and it's kind of similar to the flat brush I usually use in Photoshop. And then the airbrush, don't know about use it and synthetic paint, I don't really like it as much. Uh, and then I use a lot of this texture brush here that it has uh, come with Sketchbook Pro. And then this, it will be a transition, um, a value transition and this brush I haven't used that much yet. So basically I just use uh, a lot on pencil and this pen uh, this a little bit and I use this one a lot uh, it's pretty good for transition so that's the interface in the nutshell and it's exactly um, well for the most part I think 90% of it are exactly the same as the paid version and I use the eraser there I use a hard eraser one I don't like the soft one I like to get more pre precision when I um, erase and then when you click on that, you will have like, you know, um, the color wheel and all value saturation, everything you have, HSB, RBG, um, and the whatever Prisma color and all that. So usually I'll use R HSB, you can do that. But the only thing here is I wish, um, which 
and then you can use RBG uh, uh, HSB to paint. Um, the only thing here that um, I wish it's better is the color picker um, because I have to open this to get to the color picker uh, since there's no shortcut or anything. In Photoshop Sketch, uh, I try out a little bit. You can just drag from the brush when you open the brush interface, which I will show you in the Photoshop one. You can just drag the brush and keep dragging on and you hold on to the value on, on, on top of the value that you select or the color you select. It will just change the color, which is super extremely useful. Well, but uh, Photoshop had uh, the Photoshop Sketch. Uh, it's free also on the tablet, but it has a lot of flaw, which is uh, the color selection is terrible and uh, it doesn't have HSB. It has RBG, which is no use. And then you have Copic here, right? Yeah, that's the only fallback when you want to pick the brightness. But then you can, uh, if you hold and go up and down, you can select the brightness and darkness, which I could yeah, like uh, compare to the color below or the value below that if you have a picture. Um, then you can do that, which I'll show you in the later video after I get the portrait one. And up and down will be brightness and darkness and size left and right. Um, just hold on to that and then you opacity up and down. Just on the up wheel and the down wheel. So in here, left and right, up and down. And then just left, uh, up and down here. Not sh Left and right is saturation, I think. Yeah. Brightness and dark and then left and right will be saturation. So you can do whatever, more saturation, less saturation, which is pretty useful in here. So, and on the layer itself, um, are we there yet? You, it's basically just like uh, the Sketchbook Pro on the paid version that I have on my PC. And you can change your blending mode, which is basically like Photoshop. Um, so before, like when I first get the Sketchbook Pro, I didn't have all these functions, but now I have to go back and take a look. I think it has all these, right? So you upgrade, you have all that. But Sketchbook Pro is, uh, drawing-wise, I think it's much, much better tool than Photoshop for Sketch. I use them on the Sketch, and you see me Sketch on the Sketchbook Pro before. And then you have all these. Oh, um, on this top function here, I don't use them a lot because this involves a lot of cut, paste, and all that. I'm still not quite fond of it yet. It's just not, uh, <laughs> it's hard, hard to use. Because, you know, I'm getting, I, I used to use to have hotkey or something. It probably would take me a while to get used to it. With any other program, there's always a learning curve. So, um, all right, let's uh, get started with the kitty drawing here. So I'm just going to pick, well, so I have that. I'm pretty clunky, so I will be slow in picking all these. But when I start to draw, it's just one value and just line, right? So this is the first time I use the tablet. So I'm just drawing shape, I'm trying to get the head shape first, and then the scarf or something, and then I'm trying to get the whole body. So basically at this end, you can pinch and zoom. Um, I'm just trying to get the whole body, and then the cape or some sort of a um, cloak there. So I have some kind of a image in my head before I start drawing this and then a little tummy there kind of chubby um, just like me in winter I usually get chubby and then I'll get cut again in summer hopefully I don't know it's getting harder to get skinnier um, yep winter time is time to fatten up and just like the kitty now I add more cape there I still have no idea what the face gonna look like yet so and then so this is like the first one I just treated as um, ballpoint pen but in here I kind of try to get the overall shape first and then I'll probably lower well I did lower the opacity uh, I'm talking like I'm doing this live um, if you oh don't forget to uh, stop by my live stream every Friday on YouTube at 12 p.m. Pacific time as we standard time. So now I have the eye line over there, a little bit of nose. I could just leave it here, but it's not pretty. Uh, so I'm just going to um, add a little more armored gloves. Uh, maybe he's holding something there. I'm not sure. And then the other glove there. And then some kind of a 
hip protector or the you know legging protector so like a samurai pad and then I'm gonna lower the opacity here all right so just try to get the overall big shape and the main element right so if you see the head is the main element there and then the shoulder is the main element just try to block it out uh, once you block it out you can go in and start to uh, try to get to the detail and in the detail here I have to click on that to try to get you know make it smaller or bigger which at this point I still don't know that you can do that on this thing here and now I got the eyes there and the reason I do the voiceover on PC because uh, most of the time when I'm drawing it on tablet I'm watching some TV I think in while I'm doing this I was watching I don't know what I was watching um, the night manager or something I'm not sure um, or some kind of Batman I watch Batman I watched Batman so many times uh, all right now we have so I just want to make sure my pen mode is on uh, yeah you can like uh, select the pen mode um, so when your hand is touching the screen uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't uh, activate certain thing that you don't want to so now just draw a line it's kind of like you just um, on the underline that you draw is kind of like you're using a pen a pencil and then you draw over with the pen and there's an undo and redo pretty clear on top add a little canine there and the scarf coming over the face it's pretty easy to follow here and I don't know how to like put these you can probably watch these on you know iPad or something and follow um, maybe I should do an apps I don't know uh, if any of you guys know how to do the apps then you can help me out but I should talk to the programmer they're pretty expensive um, all right now uh, let's see here so now you have a you know basically I just draw over the line but just make the line a little more I uh, have more precision and then hundred percent opacity on usually I use dark gray I don't use black because it's too a little bit too much and then the whisker uh, which is a tiny little line um, and I'm still pretty slow on the tablet so um, as I do more I'll probably get faster what's going on here all right so now I'm just adding it's got a little um, glitch there so now I am adding more decoration on the shoulder some kind of flapping and I think I accidentally touched something on the pin get rid of it um, then the cloak come out and when you want to draw something um, and want to make it fluid you should as you can see when I draw the line for the cloak um, I actually draw the whole line don't try to use be confident about your line try to control your arm and your wrist movement or your elbow or whatever um, the longer line use your elbow so you can get a, a long and continuous line rather than uh, doing little squiggly chicken scratch line um, that will make your line quality bad um, in and it doesn't matter is if as long as your line is continuous and long it doesn't have to be super accurate as long as it is almost accurate or getting where you want it to you're gonna get a nice curve rather than a small uh, line and see like when I'm doing the whole contour line I just kind of do the whole longer line with the exception of tiny little detail then I'll add tiny little line and a lot of wrinkle there so this is the first time I use it it's not bad and add a lot of wrinkle and this one will be a long and flowy sleeve and some decoration on the end of the sleeve just for fun yeah and it's actually pretty fun to draw on the surface is kind of slick so there's a lot of room for a slippery mistake and the pad in the front and the pad on the side yeah it's kind of like you drawing with your ink pen so not a lot of just line 
no rendering here and rendering video will come soon and I might do some a little more advanced version of painting and I'll put them on patreon or something but for the simple stuff I'll just put them on YouTube because it's short you know like 10 minutes not that long all right I think we're done and this is a little kitty on the sketchbook pro Android apps and I don't not sure if that tail is good let's go back like I already know like if the line doesn't look that good then see like the long continuous line and if you can't get that right then just wait and do it again and then some stripe I'm gonna add marks on his and the stripe got to be thinner line a tiny little stripe Try to make the line thinner there. Okay. Uh, this is not that thin enough, but it worked. That's the stripe. All right, so we're almost done. Here we go. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Um, and I hope this video is somehow useful. And if you guys have any tablet, well, you can basically use. Um, same sketchbook pro app on ipad ipad pro um, android tablet of any kind it could be you know whatever uh, samsung or uh, lg tablet or any tablet but samsung uh, tablet that i have is probably by far the best for drawing um, the other one just doesn't have enough uh, sensitivity on the accelerometer so all right guys well I will see you on Friday and um, stay tuned for the next coming message. Just kidding. All right. Two more. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, if you like the video, please click thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because it's educational and it's fun. Um, also, if you are interested in taking a digital painting classes with me. I have a few courses open throughout the year. Just click top right corner. And if you have any more questions on classes, courses, mentorship, or premium tutorial, feel free to comment down below or just email me. All right, thank you for watching guys and have a great rest of the day, night, or wherever you are.